Hello, hello, hello. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. It's a great night and I thought let's just get right into it. We're a homeschool family so, you know, maybe you're interested in homeschooling. I thought I'd tell you my experience homeschooling and show you some of the curriculum that I use. We are a homeschool of one. I have one student. She's in fifth grade and it's just her and I. Uh, we've been homeschooling for five years. We love it. We love it. I'm the main teacher. My husband, uh, He's the one who brings home the bacon, and I teach the kid. Uh, the main curriculum we use is called Classical Conversations. Classical Conversations is a classical Christian education curriculum, uh, and it's all centered around uh, a biblical worldview. It's a great program. There are uh, different levels, the first one being Foundations and that's going to be your elementary school age children and as they get into upper elementary school they go from they're in foundations but then you add on a program that is out of this world it's called essentials it incorporates um, essentials of the English language and it also incorporates Institute for Excellence in Writing and that's pretty much my favorite part love the way that this curriculum uh, tours you through learning how to write and it takes it on week by week modules that grow, that are actually uh, the lessons kind and of they build all on work. one another uh, cohesively together. It's quite nice. And then after foundations and essentials, which will take you into uh, the end of upper elementary, you've got our challenge program. The challenge program is named very appropriately challenge. Um, Challenge A, um, I'm sorry, one and two, that's middle school, which I guess would be probably the equivalent of seventh and eighth grade. And then after challenge one and two, you've got A, B, C, and D. And that's the equivalent of four years of high school. Now, I only know enough about challenge to be that I'm excited. I have set in, to, set in on at least four challenge classes, and I love it. It's a full day's uh, work at our community event, which we do once a week. Whether you're found Foundations, Essentials, or any of the challenge classes, you've got a full, you've got once a week where you come together as families and we tutor, introduce subjects to the children. And then the remainder of the week, you as a parent will teach your child that particular week's lessons. Uh, just to give you an idea, foundations will incorporate uh, pounding in those high-level facts, facts in grammar, facts in uh, math, facts in history, facts in science, geography, uh, timeline, which is a historical timeline from creation until uh, current day. And um, it also will include a science project, which is awfully fun and an art project. Art can, when we say art, it's not just drawing and painting. There's Ten Whistle, and there's also composers, and there's artists. Wonderful, wonderful array of art projects and activities. All of this is done once a week. The art and science is done at the community along with all the other information I shared. And then during the remainder of the four days, you plan out and map out how you're going to teach your child the information that she or he has been introduced on our community day. Love classical conversations. It is biblical worldview. God is the center of everything that we learn. As they grow in the program, they mature and gain wisdom from the Lord with regard to math, science, English, Latin, history, uh, geography. When you're in the younger ages, the younger grades, like middle, lower, and middle elementary, uh, even upper elementary, um, we supplement the math curriculum. I use teaching textbooks. Uh, it's a CD-based curriculum. It gives my daughter some independent work, and she loves math, so it actually gives her an opportunity to be super successful and enjoy learning math. But she works independently on her math program. And the 
other program that I've added to my daily uh, curriculum alongside CC and teaching textbooks, I do IEW's um, Phonetic Zoo, which is a spelling program. This is also done independently. My daughter puts her headphones on and the actual spelling program is on her tablet. She listens to the instructor share the information, the words, and uh, she's given time to spell them. And I, what I love about that program the most is you do not move forward until you have successfully spelled all 15 words correctly twice. So each time she does a lesson, it incorporates a test. The lesson is a spelling test. And each time she completes the test, then she's allowed to check herself using the CDs, uh, using the file that includes the correct spelling from that particular lesson's test. In order for her to move forward into the next lesson, she has to get 100% on the current lesson twice. And uh, that way you are sure that the child knows how to spell the words. Uh, and in addition to that, you're, you're um, able to add on five of your own personal vocabulary words to each lesson. Or what I do is every fifth lesson, I add, I give her 15 vocabulary words that came out of the writing program for Institute of Excellence in Writing. Those big words like protocol, um, thorough, just much bigger words and they don't have any specific rules because there's so many there are 15 words that have different rules that apply to them but I give her those 15 words and she takes that every she takes that test for every every fifth lesson are the words that I give her from the IEW writing program which means she may be on that fifth lesson or that tenth lesson for six or even seven times because of the, lo the harder words but she will get more correct with, with each test and it's a great way to show my daughter the progress of learning how to spell those words.